let's uh, start with getting everybody back here. Obviously, our first official state together here. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was a good skate. They've been off the ice for a while, so you expect the execution to be a little bit off. But I thought, for the most part, it was it was a pretty good hour on the ice. What is the most important thing when you get one of those, one, that first one back? The most important thing to get the practice. Yeah. In, I, it's okay. it's really making sure they get their legs under them again and and their timing to start to come back. And then for us as coaches, it's a little bit of review of of how we have to play and what we want to do. What's your role? Uh, no, your role. Sorry. What do you envision Kuzmenko's role on this team? Um, well, like anybody else, he has to contribute to our team game. Like he's going to be a guy that we're going to use on the power play. He has an offensive skill set that we want to take advantage of. Um, and he's going to be put in situations where he can help us generate some offense. But um, having said that, it's important that the understanding or the messaging to all of our players, and Kuzi included, is they have to, they have, there's got to be a lot of pride in taking care of what we're giving up. So that's an important thing for him and his line mates today, too. Weger had mentioned he was a bit of a shifty guy. Yeah. What did you make? What did you make of him skating around? I saw him try to do some moves as well. Yeah, yeah, he is. That's one of his his attributes that he does have. Um, he can he can play one on one against guys. He's got a good shot. Um, he's got composure and confidence with the puck. So he, you saw that on some of the power play drills we were doing today. Now it's a matter of finding a place that's a fit for him. What about Brady? What about uh, how do you envision him fitting in? With yeah, team? he's uh, like we have some depth now on the back end. Um, He's a guy that we feel he gives us a little bit of, of edge or physicality to our back end, but he's also someone that's been around a program that's had some success over the last little while. So um, understanding the, the times of game where you have to buckle down and make the good, hard, smart play, um, we feel like he's a guy that is, is going to be able to help us with that. It's been a long four months for uh, Jacob and, and Kevin, and their mm -hmm. timelines really gone right next to each other. Um, you know, what does it mean? You know, what do you see from them when you get an opportunity to get them back up and, and yeah. the excitement? Like this? Well, our doctors first and foremost, and Kent and his his medical staff have done a, a ridiculously good job of making sure they're in a position to be able to play right now, and have had games under their belt in the American League. So. Both guys really committed to working hard um, in the gym to start with, or I should say in the training room to start with, then in the gym, then getting on the ice. Like They had a lot of time on the ice with just our skills people as well. So uh, it's not an easy thing for two guys to have to work through. I think that probably the bonus or benefit was they were almost the exact same injury, same timeline, so they were around each other all the time, which you know, when you're having an off day, it's nice to have someone that's going through it with you. So we're happy for them, and it's nice to see them back up here. Well, and to your point, I mean, to, to everybody that plays a role in that, I mean, they're, you know, ahead of schedule probably in a lot of ways. I mean, they're right at that four-month mark almost yeah. exactly. Yeah, and I think that's partly due to medicine nowadays and the way guys sure. rehab from injuries like that. Um, they're pushed a lot quicker than they used to be. Um, I'm still amazed when you walk in and see the guys moving around on the table and what our trainers have them doing right away after a significant injury like that. So I, I think it's the advancements that have taken place in the medical field, but also the work that our trainers put in with these guys. So to go back to that top unit, but just chatting with Hubert about, you know, Sharon Govich moving back to the center spot too, and he thinks that that can be a good thing for him. Just maybe getting a tease earlier in the season of what he's capable of, but you feel he can slide in there and be effective? Well, we're, we're, we do. Um, he's played center in the NHL before and he had a small little test run with us at the beginning of the year when we had him on the fourth line. Um, he's played a little bit in Jersey before too so that's one thing that came into play for us that we wanted somebody that was at least comfortable being in that position. We have other options that at times I think we're going to use and work into that spot as well but for now we want that line to try to find a little bit of something and see if it's, it's something that we can move forward with. There's still potentially some more over the next month, but you know that 30,000 foot view, you know, how do you push forward with this team from, from here? Yeah, it's all the same for us. It doesn't really change. I mean, we want our guys to have the mentality that tomorrow night is the most important game. We've been that way all year long. Um, yes, there's been some recent changes to our team, uh, but we've had a lot of things over the course of the year that our team has dealt with. So it's, it's, it's the next day, that's the most important day. Make sure we're energized and, and ready to play our way or our game and, and be ready to bring our best. That's what we have to do and that's what we'll continue to do.